what is going on everyone and welcome back to more black desert so in this video we're going to be doing some new stuff in the near future as well so we're starting off with a quick hunting guide now this is going to be uh for people who want to get into hunting um and just start power leveling it as well and learning how to do like basic things so yeah i'm going to show you what i did basically to get to uh master one now they're probably faster things but this is what i did it took me roughly five to six hours of hunting to get from like basically apprentice or beginner all the way to master and you could do the quest which probably would be better because that gives xp as well but if you just want to uh, shoot up and learn to do hunting real quick this is what i'll do and show you so yeah, so a little bit before we start anything, I do want to say that hunting is kind of an investment. Now, what you're going to really want to have is Monos Hunter's clothes. Um, so basically over here in the description, it says if you have hunting mastery of 50 to 400, you could use special uh, match locks based on what your mastery is. And... So ideally you want to start at 400 and which means that assuming you are at beginner one, you're going to need some sort of like monos or in investment into your uh, monos clothes and accessories a little bit. So that could be a problem. But if you're at professional of 300 and higher, it, it should be okay. It just might take a little bit longer. So, um, so assuming you are at Beginner one, you have no idea what you're doing. Some things I would recommend are like uh, the Kron food, which it does give you a little bit of mastery, which honestly, up until you get to a point where um, like you can use it without any extra buffs and you're just good from the bonus, like every level you get past a certain one, it gives you five points, right? Into your mastery. Um, with the artifacts now, it also gives you a bonus, so that's an investment as well. So basically, get 400. I know that's a few billion silver, but, uh, your alternative is questing your way up to get levels, which takes a little bit more time. So, unfortunately to say that you kind of really do need Tet, uh, Pen is, like, you could do that, but it's not really the most effective money wise so usually i would say try to tet is fine but you kind of really do want to push for tet i'm just being real with you so here's what i did um if we're starting at archer acre guard post and then we're gonna go up to where the wolves are and i'll show you what i did so we go up there's gonna be a little path going up, I believe, somewhere. Uh, I don't... Yeah, there's a path to so just follow it. Oh god, is someone here? Okay, anyway, so what you're going to want to do is see this NPC, right? Over here from the guard post area. Yeah, someone's here. Let me just swap channels. I'm just doing this for, like, demonstration. But yeah, assuming you have, like, three to 400 mastery... Which shouldn't be too bad. I'll show you how, like, the rotation we did. And this is going to take you from beginner one, assuming you have everything ready to go, all the way up to, like, artisan. And then we'll move to the Narcion area, which is, like, the end game uh, hunting spots. And that's where you make the big money. But this spot right here is more for the XP. And I guess anything, like, it's not bad, but you're here mostly for. So, um, 
I would highly recommend... <laughs> this is hard to say, because, like, I would recommend you have an infinite potion, but if you don't, it's not, like... You don't need it. You just need to carry potions with you and a lot of them. So, here, let me just... I'll go into my mono stuff, and if you have this, it's fine. So what you're going to want to do is put on your butcher knife first, and then your uh, matchlock. So if you're starting out, you won't be able to use a master matchlock. That's okay. Um, you'll get the artisan matchlock, which is something you could just buy. So yeah, nowadays you can actually just buy all these, which is really good. Because when I did it, these were like permanently sold out. I had to like grind and make my own matchlock. Now you could just buy it. So that's a lot easier. Um, enhancing matchlocks is basically the same way as enhancing fishing rods to 10. Uh, at like plus 6 or something, you just, just force it to 10. Or you just buy it. I'd recommend just buying it. So yeah, there's a thing... So I would recommend as well using a Kron meal. Uh, if you can't hit 400 mastery enough to use at least the mass or not uh, artisan matchlock at 400 mastery, that's okay. Use a Kron meal or like extra mastery buffs, whatever you have, and um, yeah, it should be okay. But once you get enough points for that. I would recommend using the exquisite crown meals just because it does more damage to the uh, things we're going to be targeting here. So in this little rotation, I'm just going to show you, you see this hill like right here and the one below it. That's basically the circle. Now this is going to take you to like basically artisan, like mid artisan. You could stay here till master to be honest, but if you want to start making money off of hunting where the big the other hunters are, you're going to be at Narcion, which, uh, that, that's fine. You'll only be here for, like, what, two, three hours, maybe? And then the rest of the time is just Narcion. So, when you first get started, um, just make sure to have everything. So, I think they actually changed it in a recent patch so that you didn't have to lock your ult, but, yeah. So, if you're a beginner and you don't have, like, all the if you don't only have a certain amount of um like potions i would take this slow do it like one at a time that's fine so you see all this the way you get hunting xp is from uh, butchering or gathering and that's where you get all the materials as well which is now that they buff the materials that's where the money comes in so um let's say you are a beginner uh just take like one or two at a time you don't have to do full packs of it what I'm going to show you is just like what I do, the rotation. So over here is like six of them and how it actually works. So you see the wild one, the uh, final thingy, the wolf bird thing. Um, so basically, if you shoot the, the big one over here, what it's going to do is it's going to make all the regular feather wolves kind of like run away. So if I could target this one. Yeah, so you target this one, they all run away because you're attacking the big one, but once you kill <laughs> this one over here, they all start swarming you again, so just be careful of that. However, these big ones, um, they give more XP, so you want to try to butcher it as fast as possible. Uh, this is also why I said I'd recommend having an infinite potion, because you're really just going to be face tanking a lot of them. And uh, so this is what I mean. If you're worried about your karma, it's like 10 karma. And if you're worried about your HP, like I'm in full life skill gear right now. You could just kite them around while you reload. It's like, it's a little bit more helpful if you're worried about it. But if you have an infinite pot, base tank it. Keep your pot at 100%. Oh my God, there's people everywhere. So, yeah. So then, yeah, basically, once you see the pile, that's how you get the, uh, your hunting XP. It's kind of garbage for me, but, like, honestly, if you're doing it for the first time and you're a beginner, you're gonna literally see, like, 
XP flying off the charts and you're just here for an hour and you're good. So basically, this is the top area. Make sure to watch out for your uh, the amount of bullets you have left in your weapon. Um, I would not recommend branding your thing until you get a master matchlock. And then you do that. So once you kill everything down here, you go down here. And again, this is kind of like, take it at your own pace. I have the luxury of just being able to face tank everything with the potion, but if you have maids and stuff, it's fine. So once you get them all grouped up together, then you could uh, do what you want. It is a little bit janky sometimes because they it feels like they teleport, but not really a big deal if you want more like if you actually want more xp put on life skill and uh life skill buffs and all this stuff that way it'll be a little bit faster make sure to butcher so yeah like even at master one you get quite a bit of xp but for you like it really is real fast like this one pack would probably would have gotten me like oh skilled and then professional in like 30 minutes and then everything else it's real quick, especially if you're full buff and have everything on. You can tent buff and all that stuff. Guild buffs goes even faster. So yeah, you got your first mob and then this is a really easy rotation. And you guys may be wondering, oh, so what do you do with all the materials you get in here, right? Um, these hides are used for manufacturing. So like, you know, when you get a stuffed head or something from gathering, you could turn it into a lot of stuff. I don't really, I don't bother with that too much, but it is a lot of money if you did. So then next down here, you'll see some feather wolves. You could kite them all if you wanted to. Or you could just feel like if you're overwhelmed, uh, just take it one at a time. So what I did, what I usually do is try to chain leash for them, for as many as will follow. If you are like more, this is why like I recommend the Kron uh, exquisite meals. If you have life buffs too, it's it's not like that bad. I just probably take an extra shot. And then if you're really worried about your karma, it's not a big deal. So, yep, once that's down, you got your things. Now I'm going to show you something once you go back up, right? See, we made like 3% and that was at master level. All right, so if you're slower, these things will probably respawn over here again. That's fine. Okay, so here's what's going to happen. Let's say you finish your first rotation. You're going to the back. Now your Black Spirit Rage is maxed out. Here's what you're going to do. You're going to kite everything over here again. And then you make sure to aggro all of them. Just be careful with this pull, though. It is kind of tricky if you are newer. So you want to make sure to do that. And then once they're all grouped, you hit your... That you popped your Black Spirit Rage, uh, which is your F button now. And then once you group them all up, you see how they were all just like pop. And then you see how like these are all like what one shot away. Yeah, that's basically hunting in a nutshell. And you keep doing this and over time. You get a lot of bloods and meats and all that stuff. Uh, you'll get some random hides as well. So, yeah, you can see my hunting XP is just going up. Like, obviously, if I'm doing it from beginner one, this one loop that we just did, as we demonstrated in video, 
you'd probably be very like skilled or almost professional at this point assuming beginner one so yeah what i do uh if you have your tent and all this stuff hot keyed um it's good because you're gonna have to place it so where i place my tent is um when i was beginner and i had to do it i placed my tent like right here right or right right here and you just repair and all that stuff demonstration purposes repair and then if you're all the way down there again just place it like in the middle of the field and that's how you could um repair if you're at the bottom so again i would highly recommend uh trying to get a tet uh, let me actually get out of here before things respawn so i just want to show you that rotation uh you just keep repeating that one until you think you're good enough until like you could honestly stay here till master if you wanted to but um yeah so after that um you're gonna have a lot of random hides and tooth thingies. What I would recommend doing is picking up the quest. And there's some quests like in the guard post that like you could pick up for more XP. But in this case, we don't really need it. So next thing we're gonna do is, oh, this is gonna be so weird. Like there's no rotation at Narcion. It like, Things at Narcion are pretty high and strong level to, and tanky to the point where you're going to be shooting one thing at a time. So that means like if there's like five people in the rotation, that's fine because every everyone's going to be killing one thing at a time. So in theory, there should not be any like duel for spots or anything while hunting. I don't know though, but even if you are like a master or guru hunter... You can only you can realistically chain the things in Narcion like one or two at a time. So we can go down there just for demonstration purposes, but Yeah, let's go to Narcion. But yeah, any other like damage buffs and stuff you have probably be effective but ultimately you don't really need anything you would i would rather have life xp while i'm hunting than damage just because your goal is to get the match lock and move out of this place until you can go to narcion right so this is like i wouldn't it is a beginner's guide but it does involve having some sort of investment into it like the mono's clothes so let me just show you something while we're at out here right the mono's hunter's clothes you can get this i don't remember how but you can make it which is something i would recommend doing for the most part and as you look at the numbers right the dp you may be wondering like why do i need Tet, I just try find if I have good enough mono gear, uh, like mono accessories. Oh yeah, technically you could get away with it, especially if you have an infinite potion. But the DP here, as you guys saw from when I did my circle around in the spot, uh, every time it goes up a level, it's twenty extra DP, uh, which is a mix of DR and evasion, and it's kind of good. I know a Tet mono's close is five billion silver. I know it's kind of uh, pricey, especially if you're just trying to get into the hunting life skill. Um, but this is really a way if you want to just power level it super quick on all your characters or something. But if you just want to like take your time casually leveling up, what you could do is just go to the suggested tab and then there should be like hunting. Um, I don't know where it is actually. But there's like hunting quest line and you just do it. All right, so we are approaching the Narcion area. And by this point, you should be either very close to master or artisan. So let's say 
we're right here. If you click, click the Narcion node down in uh, Odraxia, we are over here, right? Okay, so this spot, it's like, it's different from what you were doing like in a rotation. Now, this area is different in a way that it could have a lot of people and you, you don't really need a duel for spot or anything here. It's more just like you're killing one thing at a time because everything is tanky. So as long as you're not like attacking something else that someone else is doing, there's a good chance you'll be fine. So like basically what you look at is you see how it has a wild tag above it. Now that is something that will give uh, XP. Now there's uh, the bucks and all that stuff. So you could try to chain like multiple things in together. Uh, these shadow lions are kind of tanky. So if you do, or if you don't have a master match lock, but you have an artisan, it's just going to take you a little bit longer. Um, so as everything else works, you want to try to do back attacks as much as possible. But it is kind of tricky sometimes, especially with the shadow wolves, because they, you kind of have to dodge roll it. So to make things easy, really just face tank and blast them. And it probably will save you more time unless you're really good at it. So here's the XP. Yeah, you see how that was like literally 1% at master one. This is why Narcion is the best place. So the reason why you're at Narcion is because um, assuming you want to make your own master matchlock, you're going to need Breath of Narcions, right? And then once you get five of them and you have your uh, Artisan matchlock, you would want to invest in Glish 3, right? And then the Tool Workshop level 4 is where you make the mat Master matchlock. So you guys can see what the materials are here. Just buy them. It's all really easy. But the Breath of Narcions... Uh, it's a little bit different nowadays from when I did it because nowadays you don't even have to grind. You could just literally buy these off the market or you could buy or you could just straight up buy a match lock. So when I did it, I had to farm it myself. That's why I know these rotations. But um, yeah, if you're just trying to grind levels and money, if you're doing hunting, um, the reason why you're doing hunting is because you want the meats, the bloods and all that stuff. Lion meat is very important if you do a lot of cooking for various meals, like Valencia meals and stuff. Um, so yeah, you do, like, the gathering part of it is pretty decent money. So what I did from, I think I came here around Artisan 6, all the way to Master 1. Uh, so what I did was basically attack these rhinos over and over. Which, I don't know if that one was the best one. But these ones were the easiest for me because they charge you. And as long as you sidestep it, like, you literally hit back attack so easily. And it does a lot more damage. So, like, when they run around, back attack them. Gather, 17.84%. 20%. Look at that. As you guys can see, like how much uh, of like bloods and stuff that I got from that. Wait for it to charge you, do some back attacks while he's charging you again, reload, back attack again. Twenty percent at master one. These kind like these are good, but really you're here for the meat and the bloods and the hides, I guess. I'd be careful about those uh wolves over there because you do have to pull some stuff. Like it is some big pulls as we saw before. So you see, we got the Shadow Wolves, the bonus quest right here. Uh, every, they're actually, these are quests are pretty common, so.
but I'd also be careful, especially if you are, um, if you don't have an infinite potion, just make sure you have enough potion for doing wild pulls like this. But this isn't even the wild pull part. These wolves itself don't really give that much XP. You're just here for it because it gives quite a bit of uh, resources. And if you do a lot of alchemy and cooking, this is really good. Overall, though, like, if you if you do a lot of life skilling, it's important to you. But if you don't do a lot of life skilling, then honestly, just sell it out to the market. It's not that bad. So here's what happens uh, once we get sh 10 shadow wolves. So the things you really want here are the stuffed head things. Also, you guys may be wondering why I get so much in uh, procs. It's because I do have a hedgehog. So it, sometimes it does double proc. If you're really good at hunting, you uh, mostly just face tank. Or no, you could do a lot of back attacks if you're good at this. What I did was just face tank it because I was learning... So, once you turn this in... Honestly, it'd probably be better if I just take off this and start running. So, we got the quest done. I don't know if it gives uh, XP or not for hunting, but you do get a buff which makes uh, like hunting easier. So, I'd recommend doing it. Plus, you get the Narc's Wish Stone, and basically, it's kind of irrelevant now, but back in the day, if you were going for the uh, Breath of Narcion yourself, and you, like, you couldn't get it to drop, what you would do is collect 30 of them, and that gives you one uh, Breath of Narcion, and then you just keep doing it over and over until you had enough. So, yeah. It's kind of like irrelevant now that you can just straight up buy the thing you want but hey if you want to make it yourself and challenge yourself that's cool too uh everything out here in narcion that has a wild tag of it can drop to breaths so just uh do whatever you think feels best i personally did rhinos just because it's easier to hit back attacks on them as like a person who's like never really done hunting before because they just charge you. So, so when they turn around, do that. I also think they give quite a bit of XP. So, you see this? Like, get almost 40 meats from that. A lot of bloods. You can't really sell the fire horns. They've always been sitting on a market. Rhino hides if you know what you're doing with it. Plus, now that you got the buff for hunting XP, crit, and all this stuff. For the next, what, like 30 minutes, you're hunting faster, getting more XP. And I may not be, like, the master of this, but on average, even if you're just selling things to the market, you get, like, what, 200, 300 mil an hour. And then if you get some good RNG drops, um, that's even more. But yeah, you see, like... Blood, rhino blood is very valuable. Uh, the meats are always valuable if you're cooking. The hides, eh, like you kind of have to know what you're doing if you do a lot of tanning. So yeah, as you guys can see, these spots are not really taken and you know how like you're really focusing on one thing at a time. So if you see another person here, that's fine. Like this shouldn't be any like Cool for spots unless you're actually trying to be that guy and literally trying to like steal other people's one thing that they're working on then there might be a problem but just for like your average person and you're just trying to gather uh get xp 
go for all of that. Yeah, that's about it. This is really just hunting in a nutshell. You just keep doing this. Uh, I could literally sit in this one circle, killing like a cycle of like four of them. This entire area is so huge to the point where you should never have any competition unless there's like 50 people in one area, which there's never. So yeah, just uh, yeah, good luck with your hunting, everyone. Um, as I showed you before in the earlier parts, uh, if you're out in the guard post, stay there until like Artisan and that should like that should get you to Artisan within like two hours. So it's not too bad. And then after your Artisan and you get um, your master match lock, you're basically here for the rest of time. And maybe in the new winter region that's coming out in April, maybe they'll have more hunting spots for like higher level players. So but until then, feel free just stay here gather a lot and you'll get a lot of i don't know just do this for an hour let me know how much you guys get but yeah that's pretty much it for me hopefully you enjoyed it and i will see you guys with more life skilling guides next time